Hello guys and welcome to our next video tutorial. In this short video I want to show Threadpool Executor. Uh, and uh, as, as you know that uh, the process pool executor will uh, fire up uh, the different operating system process uh, and the Threadpool Executor will, um, will run our blocking code in a separate thread. Uh, let's, just, uh, let's just change this uh, to uh, thread pool executor and uh, see let's see how it can affect our code performance here so uh, re build our image and then um, right it's fired up uh, I see that uh, so there's no clear difference between the process pool executor and the street pool executor best uh, so both of them are performant uh, at our domain. So let's just close my eyes. It's is it stopped. Yeah, is it? It's stopped. So it's not detecting. Then so it's continued to detect and the face and smile and the eyes, uh, as we see. So uh, another. Um, let's just stop this. Another thing I want to show. Uh, so I, I have a question in my mind so if we don't wait for the updated frame from the this uh, blocking funk from the face detection side how about gathering them together so not using uh, i think uh, your uh, uh, i think so uh, your weight but uh, using uh, async io uh, gather let's see uh, how it can affect our code Oh, and comment out this. Save and run. So main pipe. Oops! Now, as you see, that the lag started to show up. So the same problem still exists. So I'm closing my eyes. Um, still not close <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, that, yeah that's the same problem so the gathering here this coroutines or async functions uh, will degrade our performance uh, that's it uh, 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 that's why actually that's why uh, uh, the changing from process pool executor to the street pool executor uh, will work fine but uh, again not waiting from first completed uh, uh, coroutine it will affect our uh, performance uh, so it will it will make it uh, poor uh, so yeah, I'm just getting back this process pool process pool executor things and in the next video I want to uh, add this, uh, the granular graceful shutdown uh, support to our code because uh, whenever we use use our code um, and let's, let's just it started so as a, uh, it's nearly real time but when I hit this control C so as you see it's a bunch of threads and uh, um, this uh, fork process is just abandoned uh, the processes uh, and other things that uh, we are getting too uh, too much uh, trace back. So this is not a, a good approach uh, to build some you know, software. So we need it's especially using uh, when you you use a, a async IO, you need to implement clean shutdown press, press procedures. And uh, yeah, it's crucial to have such a feature in your project. So see you in the next video. We will implement some clean shutdown. A code change here. Yeah, bye.